Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. According to NASA, every 37,000 years or so, our dear planet Earth is in serious danger of being struck by a large asteroid, one measuring over 250 meters. The average life expectancy for most people sits at 78 years, according to 2011 preliminary figures from the Center for Disease Control. If the statistics say we can live 474 lifetimes before ever encountering an asteroid attack, there's no reason to worry, right? Not exactly. Seeing as how a majority of our closest encounters happen over the past few decades, many are beginning to question how much longer Earth can continue to avoid cosmic disaster. That being said, have you heard the buzz about a big, very big asteroid that'll pass relatively close to Earth this month? A monster asteroid with a diameter of 1.4 to 4.1 kilometers is set to fly past Earth on April 29, 2020. On its closest approach, the space rock will be 6.3 million kilometers from Earth. Data from the US space agency NASA shows that this is the most massive asteroid to fly so close to the Earth this year. The asteroid named 52768, 1998 OR2, is big enough to destroy several countries and have a global impact if it hits Earth. In fact, even the last estimate of its diameter, 1.8 kilometers, is more than twice the height of the tallest structure in the world, the Burj Khalifa, at 0.83 kilometers. However, according to NASA, there's no possibility of this asteroid hitting the Earth. Phew! Any asteroid bigger than one kilometer is categorized as having the potential to trigger mass destruction on Earth. The asteroid, believed to have killed the dinosaurs, measured more than 10 kilometers across. As per the National Near-Earth Object Preparedness Strategy, objects close to and larger than one kilometer can cause damage on a global scale. They can trigger earthquakes, tsunamis, and other secondary effects that extend far beyond the immediate impact area. That being said, here are 10 more asteroids that nearly destroyed Earth. Number 10. 2019 OK A 330-foot or 100-meter-wide asteroid designated 2019 OK passed just 43,500 miles or 70,000 kilometers from Earth on July 25, 2019. It was discovered by the Brazilian Sonia survey just days prior, and its presence was announced mere hours before it zoomed past our planet. 2019 OK is not a threat to Earth right now. However, this and other near-Earth asteroids do pose a genuine risk. The Tunguska explosion in 1908 and the Chelyabinsk meteor in 2013 were equivalent to large nuclear explosions, and under the wrong circumstances, immediate impact could devastate a city. Number 9. Frieda Fort Crater It's believed about 2 billion years ago an asteroid measuring at least 10 kilometers across hurtled toward Earth. The impact occurred southwest of what is now Johannesburg, South Africa, and temporarily made a 40-kilometer deep and 100-kilometer wide dent in the surface. Almost immediately after impact, the crater widened and shallowed as the rock below started to rebound and the walls collapsed. This is the biggest meteorite impact that geologists have yet found on Earth, and it's nearly twice as big as the impact believed to have killed the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. This makes it a site of great importance for scientists. It's also the oldest impact crater that's been found on Earth. It's mainly for these reasons that it's been made a World Heritage Site. Number 8. 4581 Aslepius Astronomers Dr. Henry Holt and Norman G. Thomas discovered a 300-meter space rock, which geophysicists declared would have created an explosion 12 times more powerful than the Tsar bomber, the most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated. Estimated calculations had Aslepius missing Earth by 430,000 miles, passing through the exact position the planet stood six hours earlier. To quote Dr. Holt, on a cosmic scale of things, that was a close call. No kidding, Doc. Number 7. Sodbury Basin, Canada There are many ways we can form magma on Earth, however, occasionally, very rare events like a massive asteroid impact can cause the rocks of the Earth's crust to melt and even cause volcanoes and magma bodies to form that may have lasted over 50,000 years. One of the best examples on Earth for this kind of cataclysmic volcanism is found in Canada. The Sudbury Basin in Ontario contains the remnants of a massive asteroid impact that occurred an estimated 1.8 billion years ago. Today, the remains of the crater are perched up against some of the oldest rocks on Earth, namely the Canadian Shield, where the rocks are estimated between 2 and 2.6 billion years old. It's into these ancient rocks that the Sudbury asteroid slammed, 
creating what is thought to be a crater at least 200 kilometers across. All that remains today is an elliptical sequence of rocks, 50 kilometers across as most of the impact features have been long since eroded. However, this scar on Earth's surface might also be one of its most valuable, with over $500 billion worth of nickel, copper, platinum group and other rare metals in its deposits. Number 6. Chicxulub Crater, Mexico Buried beneath thousands of feet of limestone in the Yucatan Peninsula are the remains of an impact so great that it wiped out over half of the Earth's species. The Chicxulub Crater, named after the village which lies near its center, spans over 110 miles wide, with about half of it resting below the Gulf of Mexico. Apparently 65 million years ago, an asteroid or comet the size of a small city came hurtling toward Earth. With a force of 100 million megatons of TNT, two million times stronger than the most powerful man-made bomb, it crashed into our planet and created devastating consequences for both the dinosaurs and all other life. Shockwaves rippled outwards from the site, triggering earthquakes and volcanic eruptions across the world. After millions of years of erosion and sedimentation, however, evidence of the cataclysmic event is hard to find today. Even for a spectator standing high above the crater's center, the impact effects are not apparent. Number 5. Manicougan Crater, Canada Manicougan Reservoir, also known as the Eye of Quebec, was believed to have been created about 212 million years ago when a 3-mile-wide asteroid hit the Earth. The 62-mile-wide hole that it left has been worn away by the passing of glaciers and other erosive processes, but it remains impressive nonetheless. What's especially unique about this particular crater is that instead of just filling with water to become a near-perfect circular lake, this one is mostly dry land, ringed by a natural moat. That would make it a great place to build a castle, one might imagine. Number 4. Goss's Bluff, Australia This three-mile-wide bowl in the middle of the vast flatness of central Australia is an unexpected sight. More than 140 million years ago, a comet or asteroid may have hit the surface of the Earth in the red centre, creating a giant impact crater. Travelling the unsealed Marini Loop from Alice Springs to Kings Canyon, you can see the remnants of what must have been a jolt of unimaginable scale. The Gosses Bluff Crater, also known as Gosses Bluff, is an impressive sight from afar. It's best seen from Tyler's Pass on Namatjira Drive. Once inside the crater, its size and shape lose their effects. Erosion over the years has reduced its range not only horizontally but also vertically. Today, the crater's three-mile-wide diameter is significantly smaller than the original size, and the hole is less deep. Number 3. Popigai Crater A rare find is buried in Russia's Popigai Crater. Diamonds Some 35 million years ago, a meteorite may have crashed into carbon-rich graphite rock deposits in Siberia, and the impact's immense pressures and temperatures converted the carbon into diamonds. The crater is 62 miles or 100 kilometers wide and holds massive diamond reserves, according to the Russian government. Number 2. Beringer Crater, Arizona, USA Meteor Crater, or Beringer Meteorite Crater, formed 50,000 years ago when an asteroid plunged through the Earth's atmosphere and crashed into what would become central Arizona. Because of the crater's young age and the dry climate, Meteor Crater is the best preserved impact crater on Earth. No humans were living in the region when the impact occurred. The asteroid was small in astronomical terms, just 150 feet or 45.7 meters across. Traveling at around 8 miles per second or 12.8 kps, the force of the asteroid impact on the ground was tremendous. In just a few seconds, millions of tons of rock were flipped over and the great chasm was excavated. Meteor Crater is 3,900 feet or 1,200 meters across, by comparison with craters we find on other bodies in our solar system, it's very small. Yet it was formed in an explosion estimated to be equal to 10 million tons of TNT. The mammoths and other giant land creatures of the last ice age could not have guessed what had happened when they turned to see the blinding light of the asteroid's approach. Everything was destroyed in the area around the impact for miles. Shockwaves moved through the ground like an earthquake for a greater distance. The rocks which had been flat layers before the impact were thrown up to form the rim and shattered. Number 1. Tunguska Event June 30, 1908, in a remote part of Russia, a fireball was seen streaking across the daytime sky. Within moments, something exploded in the atmosphere above Siberia's Podkamanaya-Tunguska River in what is now Krasnoyarsk Krai, Russia. 
This event, now widely known as the Tunguska event, is believed to have been caused by an incoming asteroid or comet which never actually struck Earth but instead exploded in the atmosphere, causing what is known as an airburst, 3 to 6 miles or 5 to 10 kilometers above Earth's surface. The explosion released enough energy to kill reindeer and flatten trees for many kilometers around the blast site, but no crater was ever found. At the time, it was difficult to reach this remote part of Siberia. And yet, over a hundred years later, researchers are still asking questions about what exactly took place on that fateful day. Many are convinced that it was an asteroid or a comet that was responsible for the blast, but very few traces of this large extraterrestrial object have ever been found, opening the way for more outlandish explanations for the explosion. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.